So here we have a problem where it says to assume y is the independent variable and x is the dependent variable. Use implicit differentiation to find dx dy. So this is not the normal structure. Usually x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable, but we can just use implicit differentiation like we would normally would, but treating x as what we would normally have as y and y as what we would normally have as x. So anytime we take the derivative of x, we're going to multiply that by x prime or we can write that as dx dy in the context of implicit differentiation. So let's give this one a try. Um, the first term is a product of two functions of y, and so we need to use the product rule. So the product rule says if we have um, f times g, and we're taking the derivative of that, that is the derivative of the first times the second, plus the derivative of the second times the first, or that's at least the way that I tend to like to write it. So using that rule, we'll take the derivative of these two terms. I'll underline them in blue. So the derivative of x to the fourth would be 4x cubed, but because the x is the dependent variable, we need to multiply that by, I'm going to write it as dx dy. So that's kind of like x prime, but because we're wanting to find dx dy, I'll go ahead and write it in this form. So that's just the f prime part. Now let's multiply it times g, which is y squared, then plus the derivative of g, which would be the derivative of y squared, would be 2y. But since y is the independent variable, we don't need to use the chain rule and multiply that by y prime, for example. And then, so that's g prime, now multiplied times f would be times x to the fourth. So that is just the derivative of this bit. Now let's subtract, and I'll put a parenthesis so that we're subtracting the whole derivative of this. So now, again, this is another product because x cubed times y is another product of functions. So we'll use the product rule again. That would be the derivative of f would be the derivative of x cubed, which is 3x squared. But we need to multiply that using the chain rule by dx dy. And then plus g prime, the derivative of y is just 1 times f which is x cubed. So that's the derivative of all of this. Now let's do the next term. We'll say plus, and I could put a parentheses, but because it's plus, we don't need to. Um, we'll take f as 2x, so the derivative of that would be 2, and we'll multiply that by dx dy. And then that would be the f prime. So we multiply that by g, which is y cubed, plus g prime, which would be 3y squared, times f, which is 2x, running out of space, and then just bring down the equal 0. All right, so now we have taken the derivative. Let's go ahead and distribute and simplify a little bit to make things easier to look at. So I'll write this as 4x cubed y squared dx dy. And then this is plus 2x to the fourth y. I just put the x to the fourth in front to make it in alphabetical order. And then distributing the minus to each term here would be minus 3x squared dx dy. And then distributing the minus here would be minus x cubed. Then plus 2y cubed dx dy. And then plus 3 times 2 is 6, 6x 
y squared is equal to 0. Okay, from here, to find dx dy, now that we've taken the, all the derivatives and simplified a bit, we want to group all the terms with dx dy on one side and put all the other terms onto the other side. So we have the 4x cubed y squared dy dx, sorry, dx dy, I'm not used to saying that, and then minus 3x squared dx dy, then plus 2y cubed dx dy, and now we'll move all the terms without um, dx dy to the other side. So equals, I'll put this term first because it'll be positive on the other side. So x cubed and then minus 6xy squared and then minus 2x to the fourth y. Okay, and I think that's all the terms. Yep. All right, from here, we're going to factor out a dx dy out of all the terms on the left side. So I'll make dx dy. And then what's left is 4x cubed y minus 3x squared plus 2y cubed. And then the right side will stay the same. The last thing is we multiply, what, excuse me, we divide both sides what is, uh, by what is multiplied by the dx dy. So we're going to divide both sides by the 4x cubed y minus 3x squared plus 2y cubed. So that cancels out and it gives us dx dy equals x cubed minus 6 x y squared minus 2x to the fourth y over 4x cubed y minus 3x squared plus 2y cubed. Okay. Well, I hope this homework help problem or solution was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. I also have my email down in the description if you have a problem that you'd like to see a similar step-by-step -step solution for, uh, feel free to send that to me in my email. Alrighty, well happy studies!